Education must be a lucrative business for us. That's why we do it. Our main problem today is from Alice in Wonderland, which incidentally is a great political novel, where the Mad Hatter says, if you don't know where you are going, it doesn't matter where you are. We will come to that statement again. Diaspora and education. It is a definitional question. What is it that we want? What is the purpose of Armenian schools? For over 3,000 years, there have never been more than 7 million Armenians worldwide, ever. Today, perhaps, we have about four. Some people insist five million. If you look at some numbers, 10 million. The monasteries are yet mission of the million. I don't know about time times. If every Armenian state, true to national values and Armenianism, we would probably have 70 or 80 million Armenians today. If we were honest about it, we would not be living in somewhat physically comfortable lives here, but repatriate. In recent history, Armenians did that in large numbers on two occasions. If you forgive me, it's like Jesus said, drop everything that you have and follow me. But the guy in the Bible could not. We can't either. An educated and professional Armenian from Armenia was sending his children to a non-Armenian private school. We berated him as obviously he could afford the tuition, the usual excuse for not sending our children to Armenian schools. He surprised us when he said, if I wanted to remain Armenian, I would have stayed in Armenia. Are we really shish kebab Armenians? And are trying to add some tasty pilaf, greens, and salad at the table with schools and so-called semi-ethnic Western churches. Now that's another seminar topic. What happened to the myriad Armenian communities in Poland, Singapore, India, and soon perhaps the Middle East? In the Middle East, Armenian community schools were high schools at best, and most people attended them. Each ethnic community had their school also the Catholics, for they considered themselves an ethnic community, since public schools were either non-existent or were very poor quality. The community schools met the needs of the community and served it well. Most people from the Middle East received their education there. I received my education in Jerusalem, at Tarpanchites, and all my education to it. It was only a junior high, but we had some exposure to trigonometry, algebra, Madena Krutyun, Garapar. I must argue that Vartan Grigorian of the Carnegie Endowment owes his education to Jemaram, while Stanford simply gave him the training. You see, I make a distinction between training and education. What should we offer in the Armenian schools? Do we teach students about Tilgadensi, Farushan, or of course Siamanto? Come on. Regardless, the schools do not have a compass. But that is not reason not to have a plan, even a nebulous plan. We can all agree, I hope, that while we might not be aiming to produce Armenian poets and novelists, and why not? It is conceivable to have a concept of a school within a school which we attempted at both institutions I served. And the number of students ended up being decent and knowledgeable about Armenian literature and even claimed to be writers. But we can also agree that all students in Armenian schools, save some exceptions, should be able to read and write a decent one-page essay in Armenian, 
with minimal dictation errors. Just like they should be able to write a page of decent essay in English with similar criteria. We're not asking an illogical talent. We do not have such a criteria, nor is any effort made to prepare, teach, and assist the students to achieve these goals. Lofty statements about life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness are not sufficient. We need to define what do third graders learn? What is the level in the fifth grade? Do seniors need an exit exam? Unfortunately, most would fail at this point. Since we are not sure what to ask on such an exam, because we don't know what to expect they're supposed to know. There was such an attempt to start work on a test in Armenian language for various grade levels. The hue and cry against it by the teachers of Armenian stopped it. In such cases, we need to respond to two very basic criteria. One, is the test relevant? Two, is it a valid test? Please hear me correctly, even if I'm not articulating well. The Armenian schools are a success, and we need at least 10 more in the Los Angeles area. But how do we do it? How do we fund it? Yes, the schools are not cheap. I would never call it expensive. The old mantra, have we tried ignorance? Have you watched the healthcare town hall meetings and savored the level of ignorance, excuse me, the educational level of the average attendee? Should we prepare Armenian language teachers? Do we have relevant Armenian language textbooks besides what the immigrant teachers used back home? and are attached to it. Fortunately, the graded textbook we use in language, math, science, social studies, cover us into routine, I call it routine, subject matters. What about Armenian language, Armenian history, culture, art, music? Often, sadly, these subjects are left to the goodwill or whim of the teacher involved or available. There are always efforts to publish Armenian textbooks, but has anyone tested them if they are grade appropriate? Our schools succeed not so much because of their educational program, but the design of having so many Armenian children together on the same campus. The camaraderie, interacting with one another and creating their own community. Do a study of Armenian school graduate. Ask them what they have, what they got from the schools. It is not language, not serious study of Armenian history, but a close-knit feeling of Armenian friends and community. That is very good and important, but is that sufficient? What else can we do to it? How can we use that criteria to develop alternate and hopefully better programs. Obviously, there needs to be direction. A principal worth his soul, not haphazardly appointed through goodwill or connections, has to worry about so many things, parents, teachers, plant management, budget, PR, keeping the bathrooms clean and functioning, you name it. At one of my in-service for Los Angeles School District principals, I suggested that if a principal does a total of 10 days or two weeks of playing principal for real, he or she is lucky. The rest of the time it is administrative management. The situation is similar throughout the world and unfortunately in Armenia as well. Language and culture are our fountainhead, our fatherland. There is a serious discussion in some Armenian schools to teach Armenian as a second language. Imagine. Ah, 
Lezim koçullar martı inç fani gınımanı.